to the session. In this session, we will discuss a question which says that the following data gives the number in thousands of trees planted in a particular area. Calculate the trend by method of moving averages for 10 year cycle. Also plot the graph. And this is the data which is given to us. And now we will start with the solution. First of all, we will draw a table for the given data. So we have drawn a table for the given data. In this, the first column is representing the years. Second column is representing the number of trees planted in thousands. Then in the next column we will find the 10 yearly moving totals. In the next column we will find the 10 yearly moving average. And in the last column we will find the 10 yearly moving average centered. Firstly, we will find the 10 yearly moving total. For this, we will add the values of first 10 years, that is from the year 1990 up to the year 1999. That is, we will add all these values and we will place the total in between the 5th and the 6th year. Now here, the 5th year is the year 1994 and the 6th year is the year 1995. So we will write the total of all these values here that is in between these two years. And the total of all these values will give age 87. And now we will leave the first year value, that is we will leave this value and we will add the values for the next 10 years, that is from the year 1991 to the year 2000. That is, starting from 82, we will add all the values up to 85 and we will place the total in between the 6th and the 7th year, that is, in between these two years, so we will write the total of all these values, and the total of all these values will give 892, which is placed in between the 6th and 7th year, which is the year 1995 and 1996. And now we will leave this value, and we will add all the values from the year 1992, up to the year 2001. That is, starting from 87, we will add all the values up to 92. And we will place the total in between the year 1996 and 1997. And the total of all these values is 902. We will continue these steps until this last year value is taken into account. Now we will add all the values starting from the year 1993 up to the year 2002. That is, starting from 89 we will add all these values up to 95. And we will place the total in between the years 1997 and 1998 and the total is 910. Now we will add the values for the next 10 years, that is starting from 91, we will add all the values up to 86. And we will place the total in between the years 1998-1999 and the total is 907. Now we will add the values for the next 10 years, that is starting from 93, we will add all the values up to 84 and we will place the total in between the year 1999 and 2000 and the total is 900. Now starting from 96 we will add all the values up to 81 and we will place the total in between the year 2000 and 2001 and the total is 888. Now starting from 98 we will add all these values up to 99 and we will place the total in between the year 2001-2002 and the total of all these values is 891. Now starting from 83 we will add all these values up to 
97 and we will place the total in between the year 2002-2003 and the total is 890. Now we will add the next 10 values that is starting from 88. We will add all these values up to 94 and we will place the total in between the year 2003-2004 and the total is 901. Now starting from 85, we will add all the values up to 90 and we will place the total in between the year 2004-2005 and the total is 903. Now we will add all the values starting from 92 up to 88 which is the last year's value and we will place the total in between the year 2005-2006 and the total is 906. And now we will calculate the 10 yearly moving average. For this, we will divide the 10 yearly moving totals by 10. Now here, the 10 yearly moving total is 887. So the 10 yearly moving average will be 887 by 10, which is equal to 88.7. Here it will be 89.2. And here it will be 90.2. That is, we will divide the 10 yearly moving total by 10 to get 10 yearly moving average. 910 divided by 10 will be 91.0. This will be 90.7. 900 by 10 is 90.0. 8 into 8 by 10 is 88.8. 891 by 10 is 89.1 8 by 10 is 89.0 901 by 10 is 90.1 903 by 10 is 90.3 and 906 by 10 is 90.6 Now we will calculate the 10 yearly moving average centered now for calculating the 10 yearly moving average centered, we will add the first two moving averages and then divide it by 2 and then we will place it against the 6th year. That is, we will add the first two moving averages, divide the total by 2 and we will place this value against the 6th year which is here, the year 1995. So we will place it here, that is 88.7 plus 89.2 by 2, which is equal to 88.95. Now we will add the next two moving averages, divide the total by 2 and place this value against the year 1996. And this value is equal to 89.7. Similarly, we will take the next two moving averages. We will add them and divide the total by 2 and place this value against the year 1997 and this value is 90.6. Now we will add the next two moving averages, divide the total by 2 and place this value against the year 1998 and it will be 90.85. Now we will add the next two moving averages and divide the total by 2 and place this value against the year 1999 and this value is 90.35. Now for the next two moving averages, this value will be 89.4 and we will place it against the year 2000. Now for the next two moving averages, we will place the value against the year 2001 and the value is 88.95. Then again we will take the next two moving averages, add them and divide the total by 2 and place the value against the year 2002 and the value is 89.05. Now we will take the next two moving averages, we will add them and divide the total by 2 and place this value against the year 2003 and the value is 89.55. Now we will consider the next two moving averages. Adding them and dividing the total by 2. 
we are getting 91.2 and we will place this value against the year 2004. Now in the last we will take these two moving averages and on adding them and dividing the total by 2, we are getting 90.45 and we will place this value against 2005. Now we will now write all these values and now we will draw a graph for the actual and the trend values. First of all we will plot the actual values on the top. For this we will plot the years with the corresponding number of trees planted in thousands on the graph. Now the first point that we will plot on the graph will be the year 1990 with 80. So this is the required point on the graph which shows that in the year 1990 the number of trees that were planted were 80,000. Now the next point that we will plot will be the year 1991 with 82. So this is the required point on the graph which shows that in the year 1991 the number of trees that were planted were 82,000. Similarly we will plot all these points that is the year with the corresponding number of trees planted in thousands on the graph. So we will plot all these values on the graph by getting the actual values on the graph. So we have plotted all the points on the graph. Now by joining all these points, we are getting a graph for the actual values. And now we will plot the trend values on the graph. For this we will plot the years with the corresponding 10 yearly moving average centered on the graph. That is the first point that we will plot on the graph will be the year 1995 with 89.0. So this is the required point on the graph. And now we will plan the year 1996 with 89.7. So this is the required point on the graph. Similarly, we will plot all these points, that is, the years with their corresponding moving average centered on the graph. So we have plotted all of these points on the graph. Now by joining all these points, we are getting the graph for the trend values and this is also called the trend line. So this is the solution of the given question and that's all for this session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.